everybody, I'm Becky Adams here for Scrapbook and Cards Today magazine and I am creating a layout using the Good Stuff collection from Simple Stories for Technique Tuesday. So the first thing I'm doing here to get started is cutting down uh, this piece of winter mint uh, cardstock from Simple Stories. This is part of their Color Vibes collection. And I'm just cutting that down to 11 inches square. This isn't going to end up being like the background, but it is the next layer up that I'm going to create my layout on. And then the very last thing I do is actually choose the background paper. So because this cardstock is gorgeous and one of my favorite colors, I am gutting that the piece of cardstock because you're only going to see that very outside edge because I'm layering it with a piece of white cardstock. So I just used my paper trimmer and cut out the center leaving a one inch border around the edges. And then I'm using a double sided uh, adhesive to adhere those two layers together. And that's what I will build my layout on. And then here at the very end, we'll go through and adhere that to a background paper. So this is just a piece of white cardstock that I cut just slightly smaller than 11 inches. And I did stitch around the edges of that with a sewing machine, with my sewing machine and white thread. So I have two photos that I'm using today. They are three by four photos. And then I have two hearts that I cut off screen. And then you'll also notice that I did some hand stitching. So all I did was just like we did in elementary school was uh, fold a piece of paper in half and make a heart shape. And then I trace that onto my patterned paper. On the one on the striped heart, I did a chain stitch on some of the stripes, and then on the the green heart, I just did a uh, simple back stitch around the edge of the heart. So I'm just using a really thin, I believe it's an eighth inch uh, double sided tape for the. On this chipboard frame to adhere my photos and then here in a minute I'll show you I also create a um, pocket for my for a tag for my journaling the journaling on this layout is um, really funny but it's I wanted this to be bright and colorful and it just how the design worked out the journaling is tucked there behind um, the chipboard frame and the photo on the right. These cute photos are of my niece. And then you'll notice on the background of both of, or on the back side of both of these photos, I just have a post-it note. And when I print a photo, I always just take a post-it note and write the, a little bit of information about the photo, the date, and you know, who it is and any special information that I know that I'll want to remember so that when I am scrapbooking, I don't turn around and go back on my phone to find the date because we all know that you can get distracted if you pick up your phone while you're working on a project. So I really um, try to put that information on the back of the photo. So because I have a photo that I have just, that I've adhered with a double sided tape and I am putting a pocket on the back of it for the journaling, I'm just adhering a piece of white cardstock so that when I put the tag in and out, it's not getting caught on the edges of the photo. So I just took a little bit of liquid glue and went around the perimeter of the frame of where that um, tag is going to go for the journaling and just adhere to a piece of scrap uh, cardstock, really any pattern paper, cardstock, whatever you have on hand will work for this. You just want to protect that photo there on the back 
um, so you can slide the journaling in and out. So I'm just making sure that everything's adhered. My adhesive just dried a little bit before I got that um, stuck down how I wanted it to. So I'm just trimming off the excess of that cardstock and then it is time to get to the technique portion of this layout. So actually before I get to the technique, I'm going to make a pocket for um, the tag for the journaling. This is a something that I have just recently been doing. These are quarter, actually an eighth inch strip of foam adhesive. And I get this at scrapbook.com and I just use that to adhere the pocket instead of using double-sided tape. That gives just a little bit of extra room so it's easier to slide the tag in and out of. Typically I would just adhere this straight to the background just like this, but because I have those uh, hearts that I'm tucking behind the photo, it's going to be something else that the that the tag could get get caught up on. Oh, I'm having a hard time with my words today. Um, so I'm just putting another piece of scrap cardstock there on the back so that the tag will easily slide in and out of, of that pocket and won't get caught up on the photo or the hearts in the background. It's really important to me that the journaling is easily accessible so that whoever is reading my scrapbooks um, can get that uh, journaling in and out easily. Um, I will put this page in a page protector and I will just use my craft knife to uh, cut a slit in the page protector so that you can slide the tag um, in and out of that page easily. So I'm just laying things out on the white cardstock now. And this is where the technique portion comes in. So I just really lightly, in fact you can't even see it, really lightly um, traced around the edges of the heart with a pencil. And I just had it laid out exactly how I want it to be um, when I'm finished. And then I am taking a stencil and some colored pencils that coordinate with this collection. And I'm just going through with colored pencils and coloring in the little plus signs on this stencil. This is a stencil from the Good Stuff collection and it's such a simple, cute stencil. I wanted to make sure and make good use of it on this project. So at first I thought I wanted to use markers, but as I kind of was getting my supplies together, I realized that this was going to be a pretty bright and bold layout. And I didn't want to overwhelm the background with uh, some more bold color. So that's why I went with colored pencils and I think it was the perfect choice. So I'm just going around the edges of the hearts with, I think there's four different colored pencils. Yeah, a couple of pinks, a green, and an orange. And just simply coloring in the plus signs. This would be such an easy and fun technique with so many different stencils. And you could use pens or markers or Colored pencils, obviously, there are a lot of options that aren't a mixed media sort of solution, if that makes sense. So now that I have those all colored in, I'm just going to start adhering everything to my background. But first I wanted to make sure that none of those pencil lines were visible, and so I'm just using a white eraser to erase the edges. I did have to be careful. You don't want to erase all of your um, plus signs there with colored pencils, but 
I was just careful to go around those with the eraser and it worked out perfectly. So I'm just using um, half inch double sided tape to adhere the hearts to the background. I got a little bit um, overzealous with my double sided tape there and got some on the front of it, but I just picked, um, was able to take that off with my fingers. So I'm adhering the stripe of heart first and then the green heart will be second and I'm just doing that double sided tape again and adhering those slightly overlapping them um, but I'm so thrilled with how this project is coming together I love the little little pop of color in the background but not uh, too overwhelming so because I adhered that pocket with foam adhesive, I needed to adhere the other side, the other photo, with the same thickness of the foam adhesive. I honestly probably should have reached for a um, wider foam tape, but this is what I had on hand and it works just as well, just perfectly. So with everything adhered and I've got my title, journaling, and photos in place, I'm just looking through a couple of embellishments that I want to use to finish the page off. So if you notice on my little my niece's little outfit, she has rainbows and unicorns on there. And so I couldn't resist adding a few rainbows to this project. So I cut that chipboard rainbow in half. I believe I only end up using one side of it. So I'll save that other piece uh, for another project. And then I added a couple of chipboard uh, floral pieces to either side of the photos. And then I've got some chipboard butterflies to um, adhere as well. So I'm using liquid adhesive on those. Um, because they are adhered to cardstock and embroidery floss and a few layers, I wanted to use a liquid adhesive to make sure that those stay in place. Um, I always use liquid or use additional adhesive with uh, chipboard pieces. I just found out with over time that's the best option for me to keep um, things in place. So there's a little bit of a gap there um, around the florals on either side of the photo that I wanted to fill in, or either side of the photos. So I'm just adding some foam adhesive and liquid adhesive and tucking those in place. I did cut some of them in half as you saw and I'm I will save those other pieces for another project. So I've got most of my layout put together and I'm going through and picking a background. I honestly thought when I was creating this project that I would end up with this pink background but when I put it together something just didn't it just didn't work for me. So I decided to go in and grab another, a couple of pattern papers to try for my background. That polka dot was adorable. I think it would have worked really well too, but ultimately this uh, floral pattern paper wins my heart. Um, I did have to go back and try that pink paper a couple of times because I honestly thought um, that's what I was going to use in my head. That's what uh, looked best. So I was kind of surprised when I ended up going with the floral. Obviously, I've already gutted this um, pattern paper because I used it on or used that the inside on another on another project. Often when I need a little bit of pattern paper, I will do that. I'll just cut out the center and use that instead of cutting into a pattern paper. So thank you so much for stopping by. I, am, I hope you enjoyed this video today. 
and I will be back soon here on the Scrapbook and Cards Today YouTube channel uh, with another project. So I will see you again soon.